Hey everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm jamming in the Vintage League again, Untap Open League's Vintage League, and uh... Yeah, this is gonna be fun! Do you see what this matchup is? Do you see what this... Okay, do you see what my deck is? Here, let me, let me show you a little bit more. This... This is my deck. I said Vintage, you heard me correctly. This is my deck in Vintage. This is a modern deck. I didn't even get this off, like, put it on MTG Goldfish or anything. I put it, I got it off of MTG Top 8. This is the Grand Prix Vegas winning list by Simon Nielsen. Shout out to Simon Nielsen. And I am 3-0 in a Vintage League with Dredge. Uh, in a Vintage League where card availability is not prohibitive, so everyone can play whatever they like, and I decided to play a modern deck. Uh, meanwhile, my opponent is on... I know this isn't the, the greatest view. Unfortunately, there's not a there's not a link to the, the deck itself on, say, Goldfish, so I apologize for that. Uh, but you, you can look through and you can see this is a 4 Oath of Truids, 3 Oko Thief of Crowns list. This is going to be fun! My deck can beat Oko. It cannot be Oath. <laughs> so... <laughs> um... On top of this being a ludicrously bad match, I cannot win except through creature combat, and I don't even have enough haste to kill my opponent in a swing. I'm kind of. Technically I do, because Vengevine and Bloodgast can both get haste, but in order to give Bloodgast haste, they would already have to be low enough that they're at 10 or lower, and I would have had to do a creature damage to get them there. It's not going to happen naturally. Uh, and Vengevine, I only have four, so 16 damage, it's not going to be enough to kill them outright. Uh, creatures in this list are, it's the Grizzlebrand uh, Niv plan, as I recall. Yep, Niv Mizzet Perrin, so, yeah! Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, um, if my, my opponent's keeping at four, they're mulling hard, we know the matchup, so I'm assuming this is Mull to Oath. <laughs> I'm assuming that's... Mull to Oath. Lol. Uh, yeah, keep. I cannot win this matchup. I just straight up cannot win this matchup. Um, I'm also dead tired. This is me after work. After four hours of sleep after work. It's like, it's afternoon and evening shift, sleep, morning and afternoon shift, and then I'm here. Uh, the only advantages I have going, my opponent mulled the four, I have five sideboard cards to bring in against Oath, uh, or five things that destroy enchantments anyway, destroy Oath, and about 22, 23 ounces left of heavily caffeinated coffee. That's all I have going for. I'm so tired, I'm wearing a jacket and not even wearing a shirt underneath it. Uh, I mean, I guess I could take it off, but then YouTube would demonetize me, right? Go ahead, more like the mall having <laughs> three, five, five. Yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Yeah, sorry for the sorry for the wait. Uh, that was a thing. Yeah, the the joys. That's another advantage I have. Pyroblast, not fun. All right, so looking at this hand, obviously it's gonna have to be Gravecrawler turn one, and this is a Verdict Catacomb. This is a Wooded Foothills. It's better that we start with a Foothills so that I can you know Catacombs can get Basic Swamp, but uh, I think we're supposed to get because the life total really doesn't matter in this matchup. I think we start off with this and get Blood Crypt. And, uh, we're gonna drop down to 17. Like, almost this entire time, the Shocklands have just been dual lands. They, it hasn't really mattered. By the time that the life total matters, I'm already dead. Oh my, wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, there's Blood Gas, so Blood Crypt should be here. Uh, it's loading a little slowly. Yay, there we are. Cool. Just had to make sure, folks. Had to make sure. I... Jeez, oh, let's see how much time I have on the card. Yep, plenty. There's enough. Alright. Okay. Oh my goodness. There we are. Making sure we're... Okay, we're all... It looks like we're all set. So I'm going to go turn one creature. And pass. And they're going to have Oath. And it's going to be miserable. Uh, I'm, it, I may be able to get my opponent by, uh, they're citing out removal, or not removal, counter magic in, uh, in games two and three because it's really bad against dredge, but counter magic is what you want against force of vigor and nature's claim. I have three force of vigor, two nature's claim, and that's, that's it. That's all. Oh, wait, and I have thought seize, so I have thought seize as well to bring in. That's a mox. I cannot see what that is. 
that's probably oh yeah that's oath uh i'm do i even play it out <laughs> do i even play it out <laughs> <laughs> like, you win 0% of the games where you concede, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> it's looking bad, folks. It's, if they hit Niv first, we may be in slightly less awful shape. Uh, Grizzlebrand I'm more worried about than Niv. Uh, it's not great, but we can beat Niv. Like, unironically, we can beat Niv. Um, so let's go fetch... We'll play this fetch. Um, yeah, I think we have to get a satyr here. Alright. Let's do this again. That does put me in double Grizzlebrand range. If on real dredge, quite possibly. <laughs> wait, wait, Cap Captain, do you not know my deck? Did you not look at my deck? I mean, we're not on real dredge. We are very much not on real dredge. We are on... Stupid, <laughs> stupid stuff. We are on modern. That's that's the deck we're on. We're on modern. I don't even know why I'm doing. I should attack first, because um, I can't even get. I, I can't get any advantage out of this. Uh, we'll say, okay, okay. Yeah. Once again, though, we can beat Oko. Uh, we just can't. We, we'd have a bit of a hard time against Oath itself. Uh, we have to win through creatures. Their creatures are better. I don't care how big Hogat gets. Grizzlebrand is, is better. Uh, <laughs> just... sorry. I will say that looking at this list, uh, it doesn't look to have... Like, I see the time walk, so it, it's the all-in on creatures, or, or it's all-in on the creatures actually doing the killing. Um, counting Oko, I'm counting Oko as a creature here. It has one Jace the Mind Sculptor. It doesn't have something like Tendrils of Agony. Uh, yeah, it resolves. Cool. Alright, so this says, ta-da, when ETBs reveal the top four cards of your library, you may put a land card from among them in your hand, put the rest in your graveyard. So let's look at... The top four cards. I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> alright, alright. So I see how many let's see. Seder Wayfinder Stitchers. Well this is fun. Uh and then put the rest in the yard. That could have gone better. Like, surely opponent, you see what's going surely you see what's going on here. Uh we'll go to combat. We'll hit them for two. You win 0% of the games where you concede. Even though there's no way I can win at this point. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Should be taking two here. Oh, uh, I, I guess I should... I should give that. Yeah, there, we got there. And then, pass. And then while the opponent's going off, let's look to see if there's anything. Literally anything. That gets me out of this. So, theoretically, I could pull, like, uh, an altar off the top? No, no, even that doesn't get me there. Uh, Assassin's Trophy off the top might be interesting. That's, that's an out. And I haven't drawn it yet. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's a thing. I, I didn't find a Faithless Looting. So, uh, oh, there's Grizzlebrand. Hi, Grizzlebrand. Well, okay, we, now we lose. We just straight up lose here. That mold of four? Nope, they're back up. They have a Yogmoth's bargain on a shtick. Yup. Oh, you know what? You know what? I don't think there's a Memories Journey in their list. There's not. Okay, so if... No, there's a Guy's Blessing, though. There's a Guy's Blessing. Ah, uh, crap. I was hoping. I was hoping. Uh, if they... So one way that the deck can lose is if they go into their second creature, and they only have two, and it's the bottom card, then they don't have any more cards left to draw. So... Mm, you know. Oh, I would I would absolutely love to, uh... Like, they have no more cards left, Guy's Blessing goes on the stack, and then I Fatal Push my own creature to force them to draw with Niv. Oh my goodness, that would be hilarious. That would be great. Uh, oh, and there's Oko. 
I'm just gonna give him the no response. You uh, we want to make a food? Okay, food is good. Food is good. All right, let's see what we can draw. Lot with troll. Too little, too late, buddy. Too little, too late. Uh, what we can do is we can go. Like, oh man, this is this is so tough. How do, how are we gonna do this? We can go Lotlith Troll, uh, discard, discard, discard Vengevine, doesn't matter about the Wayfinder, uh, then play land, get Bloodgast back, cast Gravecrawler, get Vengevine back. We have a field, but we don't have a win. Not yet, anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna hope all of this resolves. We're gonna hope that this all resolves. I mean, with that many cards in hand, it's not likely, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Uh, one, two, three. Discarding. Uh, it looks like I'm holding priority. I guess technically I did. It certainly looks the part. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, but I can't play my land yet anyway. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Alright, yeah, looks like we're good. Uh, so these all go. Uh, they're in the yard, but... I'm about to get... them back. Anyway. Yeah, I, we'll still do it correctly. We'll still put them in the yard first. Because it, it'll actually show up in the chat if I put them in the yard first. Uh, good times. Play it. Get you back. Uh, I guess I should say, trigger resolves. I don't think they have any like mainboard ravenous traps or anything like that. Uh, they don't. It, that's not a bad option for the deck. You can't run Grafdigger's Cage, and it gives you something to do mainboard against, uh, like Dredge. So that's that's not a bad option. Oath is not the most favored against. Uh, yeah, we're good. Alright. Oath is not the most favored against uh, Dredge. It's not the greatest matchup in the world. I think I actually do want to get just a basic swamp here, actually. I, w I would like to conserve my life total now. So we're going to do just that. There's a Grizzlebrand in play. It actually doesn't... Uh, well, if it's just Grizzlebrand, it doesn't matter. And the reason it doesn't matter is that Grizzlebrand... The, once I'm at 14, it's two hits no matter what until I get down to seven. Uh, but Niv is about to come out next turn. So for that, it might actually matter. Alright. Alright, cool. Uh, I didn't have a sack outlet. I, I couldn't do anything for the, the blood gas before I fetched, unfortunately. Alright. So play out Gravecrawler. Vengevine trigger. You win 0% of the games where you concede, folks. Uh, now, unfortunately, because they have Niv in this list, one of the issues is that Grizzle... So Grizzlebrand can normally be can go on offense, obviously. Uh, but you're incentivized to keep Grizzlebrand back to a certain extent, because if I can just kill you out of nowhere, then that's... Es no bueno. That's not where you want to be. Uh, but with Niv, they can actually attack with Grizzlebrand, have Niv back, and even have some triggers to ping stuff down. Um, now this, this is exciting, but, uh, this, all of this, this is about to lose. They're about to go to 17, I'm about to go to 6, they're about to have a Niv, and I'm gonna lose at least some of these creatures. Uh, so, price check right now. 4, 6, 8, oh wow, actually you're decent. 13, 14, 16, and they're gonna go to 17 with a blocker. I think that, yeah, I, I don't think I can win this next turn. I don't think I can win. Well, with more than one blocker. They have Oko, uh, which at the very least can turn a food into uh, into a 3-3. Three, three. And they're going to have Niv. So we are very, very dead here. It's a very technical term. Very dead. Oh, wait a minute. We have an, an additional one here uh, from Wayfinder uh, to Lot Latrol. Which does have Trample. Not that it matters. But it does have Trample. 
at the very least, Lot Latrol can attack next turn. Regen, but it, it doesn't matter. If I don't kill them next turn, I'm dead. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. I would, I would kill for an Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> what I would do for an Assassin's Trophy now, folks. Uh, cause if we could deal with Grizzlebrand, we'd be okay. Now, there is a chance that they drew their Nif, uh, and, let's see, one? So, red, red, yeah, they, they don't have, if they have Niv in hand, then they don't actually have the ability to cast Niv right now. Uh, that's not to say that they won't shortly, this is, there's red or blue, and then they need one more, say like one more blue. What the heck just happened? Oh, they're, okay, okay, I see. I say, okay. So reveal two cards, uh, I don't think they meant to, oh, okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha, I see what's going on now. Okay, um, so, let's see. This is... Alright. Just a sec. Reading log. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. Uh... Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Uh, so they drew a card from their hand. Mox... Time okay. I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm just making sure that they, they missed the trigger, which you can do. You can do. So, they untapped everything. They drew for turn. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it just looks like they, they just elected not to have the trigger. Alright. Making sure that you elected not to trigger Oath. Hello, I can spell. I can spell. Okay, so yeah, now we go to six. So yeah, Niv is in hand. We know one of the cards is Niv. Uh, and now they have to do something to... Oh, there's Time Walk. Yeah. Got me. Got me. Alright, yeah, that's, that'll do it. Game two. Yeah, Time Walk will do that. Looks like Captain One, and we'll go to sideboards. All right, so uh, we we talked earlier about you're coming in. You, oh my goodness, this is slow. You're coming in. You are coming in. You're coming in. You're coming in. Thoughtseize is is good on the play. I think I keep it on the draw as well, but it's definitely good on the play. Uh, on the draw, they could just have turn one oath, and Thoughtseize will never get to do a thing. Uh, it's certainly possible, but I think it's still it's still fine. Now, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. What do I cut? Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Uh, Crypt Breaker does not do anything in this matchup. Uh, that's not technically true, but we're not grinding against Oath. We need to kill them really quickly, or just deal with one Oath and hope that they never do Jack from then on. Uh, so that's, that's a thing. That's fun. You know, I think that there's a case for taking out the, uh, where'd you go? A little lower, a little lower. I'm getting there. Collective Brutality, because it doesn't kill any creatures, the drain doesn't matter, uh, and it doesn't, t it can take stuff out of their hand, but it can't take Oath, which is kind of a big one. Uh, nevertheless, it is a, sac a discard outlet, and that's not nothing. But a discard outlet here, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna move it out for now. I mean, after all, there's a reason I'm not bringing in the other Collective Brutalities. We'll revisit it in just a moment, but I think that we're good. Dried Arbor has to stay. Fatal Push does literally nothing in this matchup. It has, well, let me, let me check their sideboard, make sure that's actually true. Blazing, oh god, there's Blazing Archon, that's right. Blazing Archon says, uh, creatures opponents control can't attack you. So, I literally can't win uh, through that. Uh, well, Assassin's Trophy again, but that's that's it. So, uh, and looking at what they're going to bring in, it's Tormod's Crypt Ravenous Trap. I can win without the graveyard. It's, it's not easy, but I can win without the graveyard. It'll slow me down. 
and it may give them enough time. But they have to bring in Blazing Archon, right? That's... I think that's better than Grizzlebrand and Niv, both. Uh, because I have literally one out in my deck against it. So I think that's true. I may be wrong, but I think that's true. This is a 3-1 for 2. That actually might be fine. It's a clock. I can't take out Hogak. Shriekhorn probably goes. Um, yeah, Shriekhorn goes. They're going to bring in the Graveyard Hate, so Altar of Dementia probably goes too. So, Altar of Dementia. Alright, two more. Dos mas. Um, let's see. Lands, Vengevine. The stuff you... Re Stitcher Supplier is one of the best cards in the deck. You, you can't take that out. Seder Wayfinder? Yeah, you don't put up much of a clock. You really don't. Uh, there is a reason, though, that uh, Glowspore Shaman is only a one of, and Seder Wayfinder is a four of. Uh, you put the land on top of your library, so it doesn't actually replace itself. Um, and it doesn't dig as deeply. Do I? I, I think that I, I take out the glow spore and one wayfinder. Maybe I no. I take out a carrion feeder. Take out one carrion feeder. It is a redundant effect, and I still have a lot of one drops. So with all this, I have a decent shot. I have a decent shot at getting there. Let's hope... Oh, good good grief. Yeah, shuffles. Uh, let's hope we get there. I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I'm like not even able to find the button. Okay, so we don't have... We do have Assassin's Trophy, but we don't have anything else. And I think that's okay. Assassin's Trophy gets the job done. It loses to Counter Magic, but they're probably... That's probably fine. We're probably okay with that. Uh, so let's go and keep, I guess. Uh, sure, we'll say keep. I mean, there's a non-zero chance they just took out counter magic. It's usually terrible against Dredge. Uh, so they said keep. I'm on the play. I think I'm supposed to fetch for deck thinning. Um, I th I'm almost certain that's what I'm supposed to do here. I can go and get the swamp first, and then I can go and get an overgrown tomb. Go to 19. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry I'm playing slowly. I'm not meaning to. Um, I'm just... Uh, okay, so we'll find a card. Uh, yeah, I think we, we go get a Swamp. It hides a little bit of information about our hand. No, no, it doesn't, actually. Um, because if I'm getting a Swamp here, it probably means I have more fetch lands. Oh. Oh, you know... That's that's a that's a good point. Let's look at their list one more time, actually. I would like to see, do they have any wastelands? They do not. They have no wastelands. They have no they have no strip mine? Am I seeing that correctly? I am not because yeah, I am. Okay, I am. Oh jeez. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not meaning to play slowly. Uh I think I am just supposed to get swamp here. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safely. I think this is the safe play. Alright. And then we will pass the turn. And uh and then die to uh land mox oath force of will. <laughs> that's that's the plan, folks. That's the plan. Oh, so yeah, I did yeah, I did pass. We're good. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they drew. Good. Always good. Fetch. Oh, that's that's not bad. Just move it straight to the, the discard pile. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in the text, though. Jeez. 20 to 29. Hey, it happens. It happens. Here. Oko. Yes, it's Oko. Nice. Okay, we can live with that. We can live with that. Oh, but it could be a bait. It could be a bait. Oh, because if I use the trophy here... Oh, my goodness. Alright. 
is find a decent top deck. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, so we can kill Oko here, but if we do, we lose anything against Oath. But they only have two cards in hand. What are the odds? I, I kind of want to see if we have any spectators right now. Oh, uh, we have a spectator! Hey, whoever that is. Okay, well, you're about to watch me punt real hard here. Real freaking hard. Uh, I think I would like to... I'm gonna fetch... Oh, wait, yeah, I want to fetch first, actually. I want to fetch first. I would like to fetch first. Well, there's a Tormod script. We still we still fetch first here, actually. Because it'll it'll fill the yard for Hogak. Uh, so that's alright. That that'll be okay. We'll we'll live. The other overgrown tomb. Has to be tomb. We're actually gonna do this now to see... We're, we're gonna Assassin's Trophy the Oko, and then see how the opponent plays it from there. Alright, so that's that worked. That worked. We'll let them get their land first. So they're going to search up and get... Uh, what, what happened? They're, they're still looking for a card in deck, and then they shuffled. Wait. Failed to find? Fair. Failed to find? Did I... I missed something? Yes! Oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 how many, how many islands are in the deck? How many basic islands? Snow-covered islands? Mountain. Forest? I'm really stretching. Oh, they have none! I'm still gonna lose, but I'm... <laughs> okay! Okay! Dos, senor! Now, again, watch me lose to Oath here. Watch me just straight up lose to Oath. That is exactly what's going to happen. And Captain has... disconnected and is back. There we go. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, okay, stop. <laughs> stop saying it. Just drink coffee. That's all you gotta do. Uh, and then we will pass the turn. Alright, do you have Oath? Was Oko the bait? No, they're tapping those first. Time walk. Explore is good. <laughs> yeah, it's Explore now. Ooh. Okay, so they drew a land, clearly. Uh, two cards left and neither one is Oath. Let's just hurry. Alright. Alright. Does it... I forgot if it shows my opponent that. I, I don't think it does. It does not. Okay, good. Um, so, let's say that I go... Let's say that I go Stitcher Supplier. If my opponent does not pull the trigger and lets, the, lets it resolve, I'm just going to immediately cast Hogak before they have a chance to pop the crypt. Do it. Do it. Okay. They're debating. You know, they, they could do the Tormod's Crypt now, or they could do the Tormod's Crypt after the uh, the trigger, but then Delve doesn't... Delve is part of the cost, so they can't respond to Delve. Like, oh, you want to Delve? I'm going to crack Tormod's Crypt in response. That, that doesn't happen. Uh, trigger. Still, I still want to give him a chance. Just let him know. Uh, oh, this one. There we go. Yeah, I think it's been enough time. If they were going to do it, I think they would have said. So we're going to discard three. What I hit. Oh! Oh! Show off to the opponent that we have that. Why not? They don't have any... <sighs> Is there any... There's nothing in the graveyard that I necessarily need to keep. I guess I'll keep a land... But I took out Glowspore Shaman, actually, so never mind, it doesn't matter. Oh, boy. Oh, fun. Do they have Time Twister? They do not. So it, it literally doesn't matter. Uh, get 
guess what, guys? <laughs> guess who? I'm gonna get you. I, I guess I should get. But you in exile. You in exile. I wonder if there's anything I can use to bait them here. Like, does is there any reason I should leave one or the other? It was optimistic anyway. I swear to God. I swear to God. If I win this, I'm not going to, but if I win this... Oh, jeez. Jeez. Oath. Just have oath. Put me out of my misery right now. Uh... Then I guess we'll put this in tapped. <gasps> Jay! You have a blood ghast in hand. You can just cast blood ghast. Oh, okay, it might actually make a difference here, because this is 11 right now. They're at a virtual 20 because of the food token. It might. Oh, they gave up. They conceded. Game three. <gasps> okay, it didn't matter. Misplays. Misplays. Misplays for days. Okay, we have a decision. Uh, does Thought Seize get to stay? Yes. Thought Seize, I think, has to stay. We know that they're bringing. They have graveyard hate, obviously. They have graveyard hate. So Alter and Shriekhorn still can't come. Uh, Faithless Looting is too good. Not only does it fill the yard, but even in the event that they have graveyard hate, it can filter my hand a little bit. So I think that I still need to keep. Uh, I still need to keep Faithless Looting in there. Uh, I am. I'm gonna take a nap right after this. So, any other change that I would like to make? Okay, um... Uh, you know... I wonder... <sighs> I, I may actually have some of the, the logic in this deck backwards. I, I, I wish that I knew for sure. It seems right to me to have Carrion Feeder as the three of and Gravecrawler as the four of, because Carrion Feeder is redundant. Um, Gravecrawler, uh, maybe it's the other way around. Certainly, Carrion Feeder is more powerful in the sense that as long as you have at least one Gravecrawler, it doesn't matter how many Gravecrawlers you have, you can spam them into Carrion Feeder. But for anything else, like Lotless Troll, you want to have, uh, have more Gravecrawlers. Craw oh my goodness. So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna keep. Oh my goodness. U Factor. I'm sorry, U Factor. I'm I'm playing at half speed right now. If that. Okay, so we have a force of vigor. We have oh, they're keeping it seven. Uh-oh. That's not good. We have Thought Seize Force of Vigor, so we have to keep it. Like no matter what else, we have to keep this hand. Uh I'll say keep. And then, chug. Okay. So the first turn, that's going to be easy. Uh, let's go draw. Okay, so we fetch. We could hide information and just get a swamp. There's not really any double green in the deck. There's, uh, there's Venge Vine, but that's usually not getting cast. So I think it's fine for us to just get just get a basic swamp here. Uh, I'm going to actually... Well, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll do this. Find card. Wake up. Why don't you put on the dog? Wake up. I was listening to uh, a YouTube remix of uh, Chop Suey. It's Chop Suey, but you're waking up, or but your alarm goes off, or something like that. Chop Suey, but your alarm goes off. All right. Target you. <laughs> you know, as you do. All right. So let's see. This is a. This is actually kind of a fantastic hand. I don't. Uh, the downside. I have a green card other than Force, but it's Vengevine. I would really not like to pitch Vengevine, but you do what you have to do. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so we take Oath. Like, there's double force, though. Jeez Louise. Okay, we, we lose this game. We lose this game, guys. Uh, because they're gonna go land the other Oath, and they'll have Force of Will back up for the Force. So we still lose this game. But, since I know about it, I can play around, I can, like, wait until I find something else. Like, another Nature's Claim, uh, or a Force. Uh, we're gonna say... Uh... Thinking. Uh, you know, so with Force out... Uh, uh, no, I can't take... I can't take Force, because they have another Force. I have to take Oath. Oath. Alright. Alright, so they, they jam Oath here in just a bit. Uh, there it goes. They got there. They got there. Uh, and then I'll pass. Pass to my opponent. We're not dead yet! They kept Force of Will in. I, I admit, I was not expecting that. But then again, they also had a lot of other dead cards. They have, like, triple Pyroblast. Veil is okay, but it's not great. Um, what else? Like, I'm assuming Grizzlebrand and Niv just became Blazing Archon. I, I don't know. Mental Misstep seems bad. Uh... Force of Negation seems bad. Yeah, they had en enough other dead cards. They could do that. That's fine. Uh, shoot. I meant to hit V, not C. It happens. No worries. Okay, so V is... ...through an extra card. Uh, so yeah, th there's that. Ah, uh, do we just do it now? Cause them to use Force. Yeah, I think we just do it now. We can't use the Venge Vine anyway until we deal with this. So I think we just have to, don't we? I could have waited! You know, I could have waited. I didn't, but I could have waited. I think it's fine. Force Pitch Gitaxian Probe. Uh, what happened to the other Force? There it went. We got there. We got there, folks. Alright, untap, draw, and now we go on the waiting plan, uh, let's get the one that can't get the basic swamps anyway, and pass. So we're not dead yet, they have to find Forbidden Orchard, and we have to find, uh, so they have a four of, uh, well no, they have Oko as well, uh, they still have Oko in the deck, so Oko and Forbidden Orchard win it for them, force and Nature's Claim win it for me, except I'm sure that they have another blue card by now. Like, I, I don't think that they would have uh, played the Preordain there unless they have another blue card in hand. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Even Thought Seize isn't necessarily a bad card, because it can be used to get rid of this other force. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I should say, uh, okay, no response. Earlier, Captain Gouda was just playing it out and not giving me a chance to respond, which kind of makes sense. I'm, I'm playing a modern deck. I'm not going to be responding with force. So, fair enough. No, no ill intent meant, but, you know, playing it correct, like, technically correctly now. Technically correctly. Alright. It's passed to me. Your T. Blip. Blip. See what we can do. See what damage we can do here. We're gonna deck then. We're gonna make ourselves find these cards. If it's the last thing we do, oh, there's already another Blood Crypt in hand. Uh, so where'd you go? I can, I can do this. I can, I can do this. I can do this. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right. Untap. I mean that's not bad. Could be, could be better, but it's not bad. Uh, it helps, it, it not helps, it hurts that I can't play a creature. It, faithless Looting would be decent. I could use a Faithless Looting. EOT. We're, we're doing the very uh, level one <laughs> strat with this. We're just deck thinning, folks. 
we're just getting cards out of our deck. Uh, I'm actually gonna go and get another Overgrown Tomb. I th it's more important that I have green mana in this deck, I believe. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Counterpoint. Faithless Looting, Flashback, Faithless Looting. Actually, that that's fair. That's fair. Go to my turn. Draw. Oh, jeez. Let's just play all the fetch lands, shall we? Yeah. Now I, I think I kind of need Thoughtseize. Uh, that force is going to be trouble. There's almost no chance I'm going to find Force Force, or Nature's Claim, Nature's Claim, or Force Nature's Claim, before the opponent finds another blue card for Force of Will. So I, I kind of need that other Thoughtseize. And it honestly is making the decision not include Collective Brutality a little bit bad here. Um, maybe I should have done exactly that. This deck has so many good instants and sorceries, but it doesn't deal with the most consequential cards, which is that, oh, okay, we need Force now. Just straight up, we need Thoughtseize Force. We need Thoughtseize Force and Green Card, actually, at this point. We need Thoughtseize Force, Green Card. No, we don't. We don't, we don't need Green Card, because we have enough mana. Who's watching? This is an awkward spot for everybody. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. That's oh jeez, wait. Not actually OC oh my god, it did it again. Alright, we're gonna refresh the page real quick, because those two are gonna stay stuck together until I get out of here. Get out of here. Alright. There we go. Alright, so draw. Oh my goodness. Please. Okay, that's what's going on. Cool! Okay, faithless looting. Uh I guess we'll go... Jeez, what are you doing, Jay? What are you doing? Faithless Looting. Are you going to let me have it? I mean, there's no way they kept Mental Mist out. And you can't force this. It has flashback. Unless they they think I don't have double red. Uh, which is never a safe assumption. Alright, so make sure we're out. Draw. Draw. Okay. Uh, discard, discard, this could bite me if they have a Tormod script in a, in a hot minute. This could definitely bite me. Right, leave it up for Thoughtseize. Play it again. Oh no, did I just stick them together? Okay, we're good. Okay, okay, cool. Got there. No, we haven't. We have to. Oh! Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough. Uh huh. Thinking. Okay, uh, looking through the deck, I see zero copies of Flusterstorm. I see two Spell Pierce, but I can't imagine that those are still in. Um. I can't imagine that. That seems... that seems awkward. Okay, um... You know, I might not need this other land. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I probably don't need this land. We already have Thoughtseize Force. We already have Nature's Claim, Assassin's Trophy. But wow, we need so many cards to get us out of this. So many cards. Holy crap, we need a lot of cards. Well, we can't drop the Say Wayfinder because we might need it for force. So, uh, we're gonna go uh, Carrion Feeder, Stitcher Supply. No, we're gonna go Land, Carrion Feeder, and we're gonna hope that Stitcher Supplier is going to let us power out a, a one solid turn. It also gives us some Tormod's Crypt insurance. Just in case. Just, just in case. If I hadn't been so aggressive with the Force uh, earlier, the Force of Vigor, then I'd have Force of Vigor for both of these. But I figured it was better to fight over it when they had to have Force of Will uh, instead of being able to get away with like a Spell Pierce on a future turn. Uh, and then we'll pass. And 
Now they are going to keep their fetch lands up because they have Ponder and Brainstorm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like the look of that. Oko. Um, yeah, if they cast Oko here, we'll just Assassin's Trophy. Oh, but they have Force! They do have Force. Ooh. Now, they can't give me any creatures right now. Oko's really good, but Oko doesn't give me any creatures. And if they make a creature... Ooh, I'm, I'm really tempted to see how what could happen here. Uh, do I just leave the Oko? So, hear me out. This sounds crazy, but hear me out. If I leave Oko, Oko can either make a 3-3 on their side, uh, and then I get Oath Triggers. This, how did, huh. Oko's a little awkward when you don't have any Moxin on your opponent's side. <laughs> I love this stupid game. I want to just pass. I really want to just pass. What are you going to do? You, you, I don't have any artifacts. You can't give me any. Are you going to make a 3-3? Please, for the love of God. All right, we're doing it. We have Assassin's Trophy just in case. But I would not be surprised if they just make food tokens. Yeah. Yeah, he just made another food token. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this unplayable mess. Look at this unpl- Oh. Oh. Let me look at my deck list. Uh, two Overgrown Tomb, two Blood Crypt, Blood Crypt. The only card I can get left with it is Dryad Arbor, and I definitely can't get Dryad Arbor. So... That's awkward. That's... That's awkward. I guess we save it for a future Faithless Looting. Pass. All right. BRB one sec. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Take your time. Oko okay, is... Oko. Okay. Oko. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the fact that it's Oko okay in Oath is actually now a liability. It's actually hurting my opponent to be playing Oko okay in the Oath deck. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. Um, if I manage to deal with both Oath of Druids, <laughs> then Oko could turn Hogak into something smaller. Uh, okay, okay. Get the grounds off the bottom. Shake them up. Uh, okay, no, no, that's, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Just making another food. It's a buffet. <laughs> it's a buffet. Okay, there's another green card that we definitely cannot cast. Oh, good God. <laughs> what is going on, folks? What is going on? There's no way that this deck can burst to do enough damage, unfortunately. Um, eventually, they're just going to start popping these foods. These food tokens. Eventually, they're just going to... I have to start popping them, I would think. Yep, there's there we go. We're doing it now. Om nom 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 nom. It'll potentially buy them some time. It'll buy them maybe a turn. There's a Tormod's Crypt. That's that's not good. That's not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh because I, I might need the blood gas for burst damage. Although, they're at twenty. So, uh, maybe not. Oh my god. Well, at least you get a swamp, so you'll, you'll thin if nothing else. So we will get you out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, uh, t it's Toad. It's Toad from Mario Kart. Alright, I don't think I have any more lands to fetch other than, once again, Dryad Arbor, which, no. Heck no. Uh, yeah, only two swamps. 
Only two tombs, only two crypts, and a dried arbor. Shoutouts to Blooming Marsh. Yeah, uh, is there even a point? No, I don't think that there is. We're just going to pass. I almost drew a card accidentally. That would have been fun. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way... Hmm. Yep. Om nom 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 nom. No response. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Well, okay, what's going on here? Cloned food. Oh, 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 I see, I see what happened. Okay. Okay, uh... I don't know how I win this. I don't know how... Wait, 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 I do, I do. Okay, so we save the Assassin's Trophy for the creature that comes down. Oh god. Yeah, no, this is, this is trouble. This is trouble, Barney Rubble. This is trouble. Okay, that's definitely not what we needed to see. That is almost the opposite of what we need to see. Okay, so now that we have... Hmm. Now that we are under the gun, now that Forbidden Orchard is down, and we don't have a choice, we have to do it. We have to start trying to go off. It is time to start trying to go off. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh my god, Jay, think. 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 Think like your life depends on it. Okay, what can you go and do? Um, okay, you have no Venge Vines in the yard, and even if you did, there's a Tormod's Crypt. Uh, if I play land here, I can force the Blood Gas trigger. Uh, lot with Troll, discard... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, wait a minute. So, I play the Wooded Foothill, trigger, uh, they're gonna pop Tormod's Crypt in response. I can go and get Dryad Arbor, uh, oh god, okay, think, 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 think. I go and get Dryad Arbor, Dryad Arbor is, uh, it's gonna, if I use Lotlith Troll first, discard Bloodgast, I'll have another Landfall trigger to get Bloodgast back. So I'll have Lotlith Troll, Bloodgast, Dryad Arbor, Grave Crawler I could put in the yard and then get back. Uh, I don't have a way to loop it here. Uh, that's one, two, three, uh, Stitcher Supplier, four, that's four mana. I'll have a potential of five this turn. Uh, so let's see. So we, we do the Wooded Foothills first. Uh, see if we can get them to pop the trigger. Alright. Trigger? Pop it. Please, pop it. Do it now. Do it now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, jeez, Jay. Jeez, Jay. What are you gonna do? Alright, alright. They're gonna eat two food tokens here. Okay? Okay, so they didn't bite. We're gonna get back Bloodgast times two. They did not bite. Repeat, they did not bite. Alright. So that's not ideal. So we'll save that. See if we can f force them to use it in a, in a bit. Uh, we wanna go... Do we want to go Lotlith Troll? I think we do Lotlith Troll first, right? Because that that's force fodder. See if they'll try to force it. Please force this. Please force this. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, if they don't force it, I'm gonna. Do I have a grave crawl in the yard? I do not. I have a carrion feeder in the yard. Counter it. Okay, okay, oh my god, okay. We get, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we might have something. Alright, so we don't have any zombies out yet, but there's a grave crawler. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, to, uh, what's going on? Moved Oko. Okay, so Oko is, 
discard it. Can I get you to move your force of will, please? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Not that it matters at all. Okay, so now that that's happened, I don't have Lotleth to get us out, uh, but we now Assassin's Trophy might actually be able to kill the creature that comes down, and that's huge, potentially. Uh, it might give me a turn to try to work my way out of this. A single turn. Maybe. Maybe, oh my god. Uh, let's see. Thinking. Uh, Stitcher Supplier? I think I do Stitcher Supplier next, right? Stitchers. Yes, Stitcher Supplier. Let's go. See what we can do here. What can we do? Can we get a Hogak down? It's actually... It's gonna be an Elk. Uh, if we get Hogak, it's gonna be an Elk. Alright, so let's discard three. Discard three. What did we get? Did we get Hogak? We did not. It wouldn't. It would be great if I got Hogak. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fine. Cause like then if I got Hogak with that, they couldn't respond with Tormod's Crypt. Uh. Hmm. Well, I have a zombie, so I I can loop Grave Crawler, but I don't have a sack outlet for it right now. So I guess Seder Wayfinder. That'll leave a turn off of. All right, we'll do this. Seder Wayfinder. Reveal the top four, put a land, the rest go in. Alright, look at the top four. Hello? Oh, 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 this one. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. I'm like delirious. Alright, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say that. Uh, well, you know, Dryad Arbor's fun, but we need to go in the graveyard. Oh no! That's gonna go in the graveyard or the hand. Either way, I won't be able to get it this turn. Oh no! Oh no! Well, that's unfortunate. That, that's unfortunate. I guess we get Dryad Arbor then. Right? Yeah, I guess we get Dryad Arbor. It does... I didn't have another land that I could go and fetch up anyway, so I had to play the Wooded Foothills there. Alright. Don't hurt me too much. I will say one thing that I appreciate about this spot is that they don't really have any great targets for Oko. I mean, yeah, they're going to turn one of their creatures into it, obviously. Um, because I went off the way that I did. But if they tried to go after my stuff, the best one here is probably Stitcher's Supplier. So they're going to eat, and they're going to eat, and I will have a... I'll have a dude. Uh, get a spirit. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I was actually wondering if my opponent was going to do that, or how that worked. Uh, you know what? Spirit, cat spirit. That, there's no way that's the right one. I don't even care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that. That's fine. It's cute. It's cute. Look at that. Look at that adorable little thing. Oh, Niv. Okay, okay. Niv is fine. They didn't have Blazing Archon. Niv is not great. <laughs> I'm gonna get snipe, 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 snipe. Niv can just snipe every single creature out here. If they snipe the Stitcher Supplier, that would normally be fine, but not with Tormod Script out. Not with Tormod Script. Uh, whenever a player casts an instant sorcery, you draw a card. When you draw a card, deals one damage to any target. Uh, crap. I should have done this on upkeep. I meant to stop you on upkeep. Oops. Yeah, okay, because th they just went straight on to draw. Oh. You're about to draw it anyway. Never mind. Go ahead. 
Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Cause I don't have the mana now. Black, 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 I assume is what that is. Nope, that's not what that is. Oh, <gasps> that is what that is! That was a black lotus they had! Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. You're eight mana. Where did the... I missed it. Where did the last one come from? Where did the eighth mana come from? Okay, it, okay, black, black, black from Black Lotus. One, two, three, four, so four plus three is seven. Grizzlebrand is, where, where did that fourth black come from? Or no, I guess this would be the fourth black. Where did the eighth mana come from? Oh no, no, not like this, not like this. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Captain, no! Oh my god, no, no! Yeah, they've drawn way too many cards. Oh! The 77 pay 7, draw 7, cost 8? Oh! The numbers throw me off too. Oh no. That's not that's not how you want to win. That's not This doesn't worst damn thing was Mox Jet was on the top. Oh no I don't want to win this way. I'm sorry. But there's yeah, play oh, they had eight! You brought all of them in. Neat. I did not wait. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's just the tiredness or the coffee <laughs> making my heart explode, or that. Oh, they left! Kept- Okay, I feel really bad. I- I know I didn't do it, but- Have a nice day- Captain, you're such a nice guy! You're, oh, I feel so, I feel so bad. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to be scummy. I just, I, I thought I must have missed something. Ugh, not like, not like that. That doesn't, ugh. Okay, um, well, what's done is done. Can't really do anything about it now anyway. Um, technically a 4-0, but... Honorary 4-0, uh, at most. <laughs> it, it's really a 3-1. Counted as a 3-1. I should not have won that. Uh... Jeez. 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 So, that happened, I guess. And, uh... Captain, you are an excellent sport. Uh... I kind of wish now that I had said, like, Honor system, I'm gonna trust you, just put seven cards back. Like, I know that's not something, this is supposed to be like competitive, but I, I give take back season competitive REL, I don't care. Um, jeez. Okay, so it's, it's a 4 0 with an asterisk for the league. It's a 4 0 with an asterisk. Uh, technically undefeated, but that doesn't. It happens. You know, you know, Captain might be tired too. I don't, I don't blame you at all. So that's that. Uh, <sighs> take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>